What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how we can take our camera information out of Unreal Engine, bring it into After Effects so that we can have our camera moves in there so we can add stuff like logos or text or anything else you wanna do in After Effects. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So right now I'm inside of Unreal Engine. If I open up the marketplace, this is the content that I'm gonna be using. So it's the modular sci-fi season one starter bundle. I got this free back in, I guess 2019 is saying, but if you wanna use this or if you think this looks cool, this is exactly what it's called here. So I'm gonna close this down and this is already pre-built. We're inside of a corridor and everything in here. And all I did was drag a cinema camera into here. So right now I'm looking through my cinema camera and let's say we just want to do like a slow drift through this corridor and then once we're inside of after effects we could throw in like logos or things of that nature and so i'm going to get started by making a sequencer so i'm going to come up to cinematics come down to at level sequence and i'm just going to leave it at default click save and that brings up our sequencer here at the bottom so i'm just going to change the frame rate to like 60 fps and then i'm going to take my camera that i have in here actually let me just type it in so camera there we go i'm going to grab this drag it down here so now we have our camera inside of our sequencer it's about 330 frames so that should be fine and as soon as i brought my camera in here it automatically made a camera cuts for us which is cool and so from here i'm just going to animate the camera doing like a drift theater corridor and i'm going to show you how we can export this out of unreal engine and bring it into after effects and so right here under transform I'm actually just going to click on this right here, this little plus button under location, make a keyframe. I'm going to hit this right here where it says to end, go all the way to the end of the sequence, and then let me come down to location. So I'm going to come over here to X, and I'm just going to do like a drift forward, maybe that far in. And you can see it automatically made a keyframe for us there. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm just going to actually select this right click and then make it linear. So it doesn't do any like ramp up or slow downs or anything. So if I go back to the beginning and just click play, there you go. You can see we have a nice cool camera move through the corridor, nothing too crazy, but I just wanna show you guys how we can get this move into After Effects. And so I'm actually gonna to go to my X and Y here, just to delete out these keyframes, but cause I really only wanna use the keyframes that I'm gonna be using. And so from here, actually, let me render this out. So I'm gonna come up to Windows, come down to Cinematics, come over to Render Movie Queue. And then I'm just gonna click on my new level sequence and actually let me save this first right here. And then I'm gonna click on Unsave Config and I'm just gonna leave it as a JPEG for this example. So I'm gonna click on Output and then I'm just gonna make sure that I save it to the folder that I wanna save it to. So I have a pre-renders folder here. I'm gonna select that one. I'm going to leave it at 1080 and yeah, everything else I'm just going to leave as is. So I'm going to click accept and then I'm going to click render and just wait for this to render out. Here I have After Effects open. I'm just going to come over here to project, hit control I, and then here's my pre-renders folder. I'm going to double click on this and then I have my sequence in here. So I'm just going to select my sequence and right here where it says import JPEG sequence, make sure I have that clicked on. So it brings everything in as a sequence. I'm going to hit import from here. Now that I have it in my scene, you can see it's at 30 FPS. So I'm gonna actually right click on this, come down to interpret footage, click on main, and I'm just gonna change my frame rate here to 60 because that's what we rendered out as is 60 FPS. Then I'm just gonna click and drag it down here. And we should have our sequence. So if I hit zero on my keyboard, you can see I do a RAM preview in there and it looks like we have our render out. Let me hit zero again. So there's our playback right there. And so to get our camera information from Unreal into After Effects, I'm actually gonna to have to use Cinema 4D. Now, hopefully you're a C4D user. If not, I'm not sure if, you know, like the other programs like Maya or Blender or anything of that nature will do the same thing, but maybe keep watching and see if you have something similar. So I'm actually going to minimize this. I'm gonna come down here to where my camera cuts is. I'm just gonna minimize all of this as well. So what I wanna do is actually, I wanna bring in just like a plain shape or something into my scene. So let's say that I wanna have like my text or something inside of After Effects like floating right there. And so let me exit this out up here. And here we go, I have my cube right here. Let me bring it forward just a little bit, maybe somewhere around here. And so let me play this through. 
yeah so we'll go through our logo so the reason i'm bringing this cube in here is so that i have a point of reference because i want to export this along with my camera information so that when i bring it into cinema 4d i'll be able to tell where i'm at inside of my z space and everything inside of cinema so what i'm going to do is click on a cube drag it into my sequencer so that way i'm able to actually select both of these so i'm going to hold down a shift select both of these and then i'm going to right click while these are highlighted now if i come up here to where it says export i'm going to click on this and then it's going to ask me where i want to export it to so i'm just going to select this folder and let me name this one fbx because that's what we're going to export it as and then down here i'm just going to name this camera information so camera info click on save and now we have the FBX exporter. And so I'm going to actually make this FBX 2020. We should be good there. And then I'm not going to really mess with anything else here. I'm just going to click on export and wait for this to export out, which it did really fast. And so what I'm going to do now is open up Cinema 4D. And then I'm actually going to find the folder that I have the FBX saved into. So I believe it's on my M.2 drive right here, FBX. So I'm just gonna click and drag this into Cinema 4D. Everything here for my import settings, I'm just gonna click OK as is. And as you can see now, we have our camera information inside of Cinema 4D, but if you could tell, our camera is kind of wonky there. It's sideways. I'm not sure why it does that. Like, like whenever I bring my camera in from Unreal into Cinema 4D, like I've tried a variety of ways. It always messes up the axes in there. And so the solution that I found was actually putting these into like a null and then just kind of rotating a null and you should be fine. So I'm actually going to see which one of these or which. So I'm just going to delete one of these cubes here. It should have only brought over one, but that's fine. I'm going to select both of these. I'm going to right click and I'm actually going to come down here to group objects. So now that I have it grouped, I'm actually just going to rotate it to where I need it to be. So if I click on coordinates, let me see, I'm going to make this about negative 90. So now you see our camera is upright and as we move forward, we have our camera move here now. So my next step from here is actually, I'm going to come up here to where my edit render settings are, and I'm going to make sure that I'm working in 1920. So if I click on export and then custom settings, I'm going to come down here to about film and video and let's see i'm going to do hdtv 1080 we don't have a 60 fps in here but i could easily just change that right here under frame rate there we go so 60 fps and then i'm going to hit Control d on my keyboard just to make sure that i have 60 fps here as well in which i do and so now what i want to do is i'm going to click on save and i could just leave this format as a tiff it doesn't really matter but the most important thing is right here under file we do need to make a folder for it to save everything to even if we're not going to render out of cinema 40 we still need a folder destination for it to save our aec file into so i'm actually going to click on these three dots and then i'm actually going to make a new folder now just name this one aec because that's the file that we're going to be saving out double click on that and then i'll just name this camera from c4d and click on save and so here's the most important part where it says composite project file down here you want to make sure you have this saved on right here so you have this clicked on make sure your target application is after effects even though you could do new confusion i've only used after effects so i'm going to leave it with that and then i'm just going to make sure the rest of these are clicked on and before we click on save project let me lower this down because we actually need to put like a camera composite tag on here so i have my cube this is what i want to have a null attached to when i export this out for after effects so i'm going to click on tags and come down to render tags and right here where it says external compositing i want to click that on and this is very important because this is actually going to make a null for us to kind of correlate with our camera information and then there's one last thing we need to make sure that we have on so if i come back over here to output we want to make sure we have our frame range going for all frames if we don't it's only going to export out the camera information for whatever frame you want so make sure you come on to all frames and then we're going to come back to save and right here under save project file click on this and then we're going to find that aec folder and then i guess i'll just leave it at camera info that's the name of our project file here so i'm just going to click save and that should be it from cinema 4d and so if i come into my folder down here my aec folder 
now we have an AEC file. Now, if you're not familiar with what an AEC file is, basically it's how we get like our 3D camera information and our null information, any type of positional information out of Cinema 4D easily into After Effects. And so if this is your first time using it, let me show you how to get that set up. So I'm actually going to close this folder out. Then I have these other folders opened up right here. So let me go through this for you guys here. So I'm going to start with this one. So under your program files, under your C drive or wherever you save Cinema 4D at, you want to come down to here. So I'm going to be using Cinema 4D R23 for this example. So I'm going to double click on this. And then here you should have a folder called Exchange Plugins. So I'm going to double click on this. And then I'm going to find the After Effects folder. Double click on this. And then you want to come down here to where it says Importer. So double click on this. Windows. And then I want to use this one. This is Creative Cloud. But if you have like CS5 or CS6, you could go to this folder as well. But I'm going to be using this one here. And you'll see that we have a plugin called C4D Importer. Now, this is important because you want to bring this into your After Effects plugins folder. And that way we can import that AEC file into After Effects. And so over here on this other side, this is actually the plugins folder for After Effects. So let me actually. So it's in my Adobe folder, After Effects 2020, Support Files, Plugins. And then I already have it dragged in here, but this is it. You just drag it in here and make sure you don't have After Effects open. If you already do, then you just close it down and restart it. And then you should be able to import the AEC file in After Effects. So I'm actually going to close these down now. We're going to jump back into Adobe After Effects. And over here, inside of my project window, I'm going to hit Control I on my keyboard for import. And then I'm going to go to the AEC folder. And right here where it says camera info.aec, we want to import this. And you can see that it made these new folders for us. So this cube is actually going to be a null. Then it actually made this composition here in which, remember, we saved it out as a TIFF, but we actually didn't render out of Cinema 4D. So that's why we just have like this blank image here. But what's most important, which is inside this composition here. So I'm just going to double click on it. And you can see now we have our camera information. We have our null. I can actually delete this down here. Then we come over here just so we have a black background. So I'm going to turn off transparency. So now you can see we have our camera information, which is the center camera here. I'm not sure why I brought on this other camera, but if I click you down here, you can see all the keyframes. This one doesn't have any keyframes in it. So I'm just going to delete this camera, keep the center of my camera that we have from Unreal Engine. And there you go. You can see that we're actually moving in that space now. So I'm going to hit you again just to close these up. And then I'm actually going to select both of these, hit control. And then come back over to my sequence that I had previously. I'm going to hit control V and that's going to paste it in here. So now you can see we actually have the null point moving in 3d space here. So if I click on right here where it says cube, this is our null. I'm actually going to bring in like, let's say a logo. So let's say like I'm doing like an AMD spot. I need to put the AMD logo for whatever reason inside of this corridor so we can fly past it. Maybe this is like an intro to a game or something. So I have the AMD logo here. I'm going to make sure that it's a 3D object. And then I'm going to hit P down here, a shortcut to bring up position. The same thing on my null, hit P here. And as you can see, as I scroll back and forth, and it doesn't really matter because there's no keyframe information on this cube here. So I'm actually just going to turn that off. Then I'm just going to select my position, hit Control C, come over here, hit Control V. And now that I brought the AMD logo inside of that position there in 3D space. So if I hit R, I'm just going to rotate it. So let's say it should be like a perfect 90. Then if I hit S, just to kind of scale it down. And there we go. So now we have the AMD logo in here. I can actually hide this. If I hit zero on my keyboard, now we have a slick move towards the logo. And let me see. Let me move it over a little bit so we don't actually, we could just go through it something like that so hit zero on the keyboard do a ram preview so there you go so for whatever reason you want to bring your camera information and 3d information into after effects from unreal engine i know this was a little bit long i had to use cinema 4d to get there but i mean this was a cool solution on how we could perfectly bring in our camera information out of unreal engine into after effects
Now, I know a lot of people have been asking me for a long time, how do I bring the camera information from Unreal into After Effects? I mean, this is a solution that I figured out. I wish there was a way that we can actually just, you know, take the camera information from Unreal, bring it into After Effects. But for now, I'm just going to use Cinema 4D as the buffer in between to bring them all together. So if this did help you out and you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Maybe you have a different solution. And give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. And until next time, stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you in the next video i'll see you soon take care